And new at noon, City of Providence has just announced the choice for reusing the famed Crook Point Bridge. It's been stuck open over the Seekonk River since 1976. Five plans were picked as finalists in March. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been covering the efforts to improve the space. Joins us now live from Providence's east side. Well, Patrick, when I first broke the story in 2019, it was just a shock to preservation advocates that this iconic bridge was set to be torn down. But now there's new life that could be on the horizon for the Crook Point Bridge that would incorporate public spaces and even lighting up that old rusty structure. Now, Providence put a call out for designs and 80, submit, uh, 80 submissions were uh, submitted and this one was selected. The Providence based design group won the contest. There are still a lot of steps before this comes to fruition though. The 113 year old railroad bridge abandoned in the mid 70s has been stuck in that upright position for roughly 45 years. The DOT told me back in 2019 that they want to tear it down, but in an effort to save the bridge, Providence Preservation Society has since put it on its most endangered properties list. Now, Here's how the, the winning design team described their vision. The design really is creating a pier using the old railroad structure that you could approach the upright bridge structure um, and connect and have a series of plantings and benches so people could stay, visit, um, and really enjoy this space. Then we propose um, plazas where you, the existing bike ped path could connect through um, and also connect to Gano where we would have a park um, at Gano. Now, the city still needs to acquire the land. So again, there's still a much more to come before this comes to fruition. And there isn't an estimate by the design team on how much this could cost or on when it could happen. But they said it potentially could be a, a combination investment of both private and public funds. For now, live in Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.